Class, stand. Oh, do you know what I see way up in the tree? Two little apples, and they are smiling at me. Here we go. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Take a bite. Take another bite. Now, don't throw them over your shoulder because they'll hit our friends that are watching. So you can just kind of toss them over to the side. And we'll let Frisky Whiskey get them so that he can eat them because they're so yummy. All right, sit down, hands in your lap, and eyes this way. Because we are going to make our number that we've been learning. What number is this? Number two, that's right, number two. Number two starts just below the red dot, just below the ceiling on the red dot. We go up to the ceiling, curve around, slant down to the pink carpet, bounce up, bounce down, and then we wiggle our tail just like that little swan. And look what I see peeking out through this apple today. I see two little inchworms. Oh, if I took a bite out of an apple and there was a worm, oh, I think that would make me sick. But those two little inchworms look so cute inside the apple. It's a good thing we're not eating that apple today. But let's count the inchworms. One, two. two. Good. So we are going to color this apple and it has two inchworms because it has our number twos inside those boxes. In our last lesson, you did such a great job staying with Mrs. Stewart, staying in the right boxes and waiting for me. I'm going to be watching who's being diligent, who's being patient. That's being patient. Did you know that? When you wait for the teacher and you don't go ahead, you are being patient. So let's see who's going to do that today. Who is going to do their very best number two? Class, stand. Peter Pointer in the air. Oh, wiggle him around. He's ready to work hard. Put your Peter Pointer right here on my number two. Let's do it together. Are you ready? I'm even going to stand like this, so I'm doing it with you. Here we go. Up. Are you ready? Slant up. Curve around. Slant down. Bounce up. Bounce down. And wave your tail. Wiggle your tail. You're wiggling your, your duck feathers. Good job. Turn your chairs into the table. Turn your chairs, turn your chairs. Do it fast, don't be last. Turn your chairs, turn your chairs. Do it fast, put your hands in your lap. Let's see what table's gonna be all ready to go with their hands in their lap and eyes on the t teacher. Let's see. Oh, it's a close to number one and number three. Oh, I'm waiting. Bethany, you got to scoot it all the way over because Elijah can't get in. Oh, I think it is table. I'm waiting. I know the boys and girls are watching are already ready because their hands are in their lap. It is table three. Table three, pat yourself on the back. All of you have your hands in your lap, and you're not playing with anything on your name tags or anything. They are working hard. Take out your paper. Who has it slanted already? Check your bodies. Is your back touching your back? Is your tummy touching your the table? Oh, just put it in there. Good. Take out your pencil, pencil check. Boys and girls, are you ready with your paper slanted? Look at those two little inchworms. They are so... They are so cute. I love that hard work. Your elbow is up. Daddy says, Slow. Slow. Mommy says, I love Baby say, I will obey. Good. Help her hand in that corner. Go to the blue box. Put your pencil in the blue box. Now, don't trace. Are you going to be patient? Eyes on Mrs. Stewart. Let's see if you're going to be patient and wait for Mrs. Stewart. Eyes this way. I'm in my blue box, watch me. I start at the red dot, I go up and curve around on that ceiling, I curve down and slant down, I bounce up, I bounce down, and then I wiggle my tail. Are you ready? Your turn. Start at the red dot. Begin. Curve down, bounce up, bounce down, and smile. Pencil rest on an inchy inchworm. 
and eyes this way. If you are holding your mommy and your daddy on your pencil tight, you should not be letting, letting go of your pencil. Make sure you're holding on tight. Watch me, you're on pencil rest on an inchworm, your helper hand is still in the corner, and your eyes are on the ceiling, eyes on your paper, eyes on our friends watching, eyes on Mrs. Stewart. Good, watch me. I start at the red dot. I'm gonna curve up and around on that ceiling. I'm gonna slant down to the bottom. I'm gonna bounce up, bounce down, and then do my tail. There you go. Go to the orange box. Orange box. Put your pencil on the red dot. We are not tracing yet. You're waiting for Mrs. Stewart. Good. Look at these hard workers waiting patiently. Begin. Start at the red dot. Curve up. Curve around and down. Bounce up. Bounce down. And do your tail feather. Great job. Do you know when you're waiting for the teacher, you are obeying? Like Samuel, he obeyed Eli when Eli gave him jobs to do, and he was doing his best. And it makes Jesus so proud of you when you are doing your best. That's what we want you to do. Always do your best. Look right here, we're in the green box. So your pencil rests on the inchy inchworm, and your eyes are this way. I start at the red dot. I curve up and around. I slant down. I bounce up, I bounce down, and then I do my tail feather. Your turn. Go to the orange box. Pencil on the red dot. You're stopping and waiting. We're on the green box, I'm sorry. We are on the green box. We just did the orange box. I like how you're waiting for the teacher. You're doing great. Begin, start at the red dot, curve up and around, slant down. Bounce up, bounce down, and do your tail feather. How you doing, boys and girls watching? Are you staying on the lines? Are you curving around slowly? Good, I know you're doing great. Now we're in the purple box, but you're on pencil rest on another inchy inchworm. Pick a different one this time, just for fun. Eyes this way. I start at the red dot. I'm gonna curve up, bounce my head around, curve down to the bottom, Bounce up, bounce down, and shake my tail. There you go. Go to the purple box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Begin. Start at the red dot. Slant up to the ceiling. Curve around down to the pink or down to the bottom. Bounce up, bounce down, and shake that tail. So fun. That little duck feathers. They like to shake their tail in that water. So cute. All right, are we ready to do our very own? I think you are, we're ready. So you watch Mrs. Stewart first and then it'll be your turn. William, I love that every time I turn around, your eyes are glued right to Mrs. Stewart, just like the boys and girls watching. Way to go, watch me. I start at the red dot and I'm gonna curve up to the ceiling. I'm gonna curve around and slant down. Did you see that nice slant? Then I'm going to bounce up bounce down, and then stick out my little tail feather because he's shaking off that water. Good job. Go to the yellow box. Last one. Last one. You got this. You can do it. Start at the red dot. Curve up to the ceiling. Curve around and slant down. Then bounce up, bounce down. Try. Just try. Yes, you can. And then stick out your little tail feather. Good. That's all we ask is that you try. We're asking, it doesn't have to be perfect yet. We're just learning. But we just want you to try and do your best. That's all Jesus asked for, that you try and do your very best. And if you do that, then you've done it. You've done your best and you're working hard. Pencils to bed. Take out your crayons. Put them on your name tag. Boys and girls watching, you have your crayons out ready to go. And eyes this way. Don't worry about those, Catherine. Good. Thank you, William, again. Myla, I like those eyes. Elijah, table three. Nice job. The first thing that I'm going to color is I'm going to color this leaf. Oh, the inchworms, they like to eat the leaf too. They like to munch. 
on a leaf. Look right here. I'm going to color so carefully. Now, am I going to scribble like we did our leaves before? No. We're not scribbling this one. We are going to do such a nice job, and we're going to color so carefully. And we're going to take our time, and we're going to make it so nice because we want to do our best. We want to work hard. Remember, Samuel did his best, and then God was able to use him for a very big job. Can God watch you do your best today on your paper? Boys and girls watching, is God going to see you do your best? I hope so. Take out your green crayon, green crayon check. Mommy and Daddy are holding on. Those babies are tucked in. Good. Color just the leaf green. Color just the leaf green. Where do apples grow? On the trees. On the trees, that's right. On the apple tree. On the apple tree. Now, I'm going to ask some questions. Don't yell out at me because I'm going to call your name and you tell me. I want you to think of some things that God made that you can make with apples. So think in your brain. Don't yell out at me. Don't raise your hand because I want you to color. I want you to color neatly. So I'll just call on you. So just do your best. Hmm, think of something that you can eat that's made of apples or even drink that are made of apples. Kyla. Um, applesauce. Applesauce. Ooh, boys and girls watching, do you like to eat applesauce? Mmm, I have a big kid and my big kid, he loves to eat applesauce. He'll just eat bowls and bowls of applesauce. He loves it. Carter, what's something else you can eat with apples in it? Apple juice. Apple juice is yummy. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. I like apple juice. Can you think of something, Jonathan? Uh, apple beet. That would be yummy. Hmm. I'm thinking of something that could be round, and it's really yummy, and you mix cinnamon and sugar. Uh, apple pie. Apple pie. That's how I like to eat it. Apple pie with ice cream. Oh, don't yell at me. With lots of ice cream. And when it's really hot and you take it out of the oven and you put ice cream in it on top and that ice cream just melts on it. Oh, it's so delicious. All right, green crayons down and eyes this way. Your hands are in your lap. And your eyes are on me. Wow, table one, you look so sharp. Hmm. I see some hard workers that have waited for Mrs. Stewart. They were being patient. They did not try to color their apple yet because they know that Mrs. Stewart has not colored her apple yet. I see some hard workers. Good job. Now, I'm going to be, oh, not yellow. I need my red one. Now, I know that I have two little inchworms, don't I? And I don't want to color on my inchworms. So I really have to be careful around my inchworms. So when I color neatly and carefully, I'm going to try to color around those inchworms so that I don't get my cute little inchy inchworms red. They don't want to be red. They're green. They want to stay green. So I'm going to just color real carefully around them as I color. Take out your red crayon, red crayon check. Oh, well, thank you. I love when I see those elbows up that you're not coloring. That's being patient. We're learning that this week. I love it. Begin. You may color your paper. Color all in. Mrs. Stewart's going to finish hers. I'm going to color that all in just like this. If you're taking your time, your crayon won't make the ugly noise. Take your time and color in all the, the red spots. And I'm being so careful not to scribble outside the lines. Because we're not scribbling. We're just making it pretty. We're going so careful around the inchy inchworm. Taking our time. Going slow. Being so careful to color in all the white spots. Something else that's really yummy that you can make with apples is apple butter. Mm, it's, it's so yummy. Apple, apple cider. Mm -hmm, an apple cider. 
but apple butter is so yummy. You mix it all up and it's so good. And then you can put it on your bagels or your toast and it's so delicious. Apples are so yummy. I'm so glad that God made the apples. And let's see, I'm going to call on somebody, so don't yell out at me. I wonder if you could remember that shape that God put inside of the apple. Remember God put a shape inside there? Let's see who could answer that question. Cyrus, what was the shape? Yes, a star. When you cut the apple, if you turn the apple over on its side and you cut it right down the middle, you can see the star. And then you can also see something else that's inside the star. Angelina, what's inside there that you'll see? Yes, the seeds the seeds and you could plant those seeds and if you have lots and lots and lots of those seeds then when the grass grow, or when the rain comes and the sunshine comes then those seeds will turn into a great big apple tree but you need lots of seeds not just one you need lots of them to make that apple tree grow and then but before the apples grow there's a beautiful flower that's pink and what did we call that flower uh do you remember it started with a b a bl a blossom, a blossom, a beautiful blossom that grows, and then the blossom turns into an apple. But something has to visit the blossom first. An insect. A bee. Yes, a bee. A bee has to visit that insect, and then or, the bee has to visit the blossom, and then those blossoms will turn into our apples. How fun. Let's sing about that. Let's sing about the bumblebee while we are finishing coloring. Boys and girls watching, you finish coloring and sing with us. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mama be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch, it stung me. I'm smooshing up my baby bumblebee. Won't well, my mama be so proud of me? I'm smushing up my baby bumblebee. Ew, it's all over me. Oh, let's get it all off. I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't well, my mama be so proud of me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Look, I'm all clean. Good job. I'm going to look at these apples over here. Look how nice these apples look. We are doing such a good job. Wow. Look at these beautiful apples. Can I show your paper, Elijah? Let's look at this apple. Look at his number two. He tried really hard to make his number. You can tell he tried to curve around. He's working on it. He's bouncing up and bouncing down. And look at his apple. How'd you do, boys and girls? Boys and girls watching, you show me your paper. Let me see it, even if it's not finished yet. Wow, you're doing a great job. Super duper, those apples look delicious. I am really proud of you. You are doing your best job today. Nice work, way to go. Let me look over here, look at this girl's apple. This looks like a teacher colored it. Look at this one. Her number two, she's working on her number two. And look at her paper. Wow, we're getting so big. Nice. That looks really nice. Way to go, Kyla. I like your papers. Good job. All right. We'll close up your crayon boxes. Slide them inside your desk. Slide your paper inside your desk. And turn your chair to the front. number did we just make? Two. Number two, that's right. Do you remember our poem, one, two, buckle my shoe? Let's do it together. Class, stand, and let's finish out our numbers review time saying that poem together. Are you ready? One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat ten. Great job, you may be seated. Wonderful job, boys and girls watching. You keep doing your best. Those coloring papers are looking great every day, and your number two is looking nice also. Keep working hard.